Today we're at the thrift store and we're gonna find items to decorate my entire house. Last night I was scrolling and I was seeing so many cool finds that I really wanted to search for at the thrift store. So I thought, let's go to the thrift store today. I'm gonna show you how to take some of those really put together rooms that you see online and find those items here at the thrift store. And of course we're gonna do some DIYs as well. I found this print, it's $15. I like the subject matter. I'm not really a fan of the frame, but I could always change that. It's a really nice print. I'm trying to go with more of a traditional look in my house. Some of the times when you pick up gold frames, you may or may not like the color of that frame. I wasn't a big fan of the color of the frame, so I'm gonna add some gold rub and buff to the edges. This is a great neutral color, and I also wanted to add some depth to the frame as well. Technique you can do to add depth is to come in with a black rub and buff. That's gonna bring out any detail in your frame. Okay, this is so cool. It's just like a wicker circle. I've never seen anything like this. I don't like the color, but we could totally fix that. I love the look of this decorative wood ball. I did want to darken it up a little bit, so I added some dark stain to it. I let it sit for about a minute before I wiped it off. Now, the cool thing about this is you can continue to add stain until you're happy with the color. So if you need to add two coats, you can apply that and just wipe off any excess. I have to tell you about a site I recently learned about called Craftsy, and I had to share because it's perfect for DIYers like us. Now, if you're not familiar with Craftsy, it is an online community of creatives and like-minded makers where you can find endless inspiration and discover new hobbies. And I wanna thank Craftsy for sponsoring today's video. Now, what can you expect on Craftsy? They offer over 2,000 inspiring classes for all different skill levels, and they give you step-by-step -step instructions in more than 20 categories, from knitting, sewing, photography, cake decorating, and so much more. And I have to tell you, once I started, I couldn't stop watching these classes. When I went on Craftsy's site and I clicked on browse, there was so many of our favorite craft categories there. I was so excited to start these classes. My favorite class was actually a cake decorating class. I learned this awesome trick for adding buttercream to a cake. She placed dots around the edges and then scraped it off for this adorable polka dot cake. Now, I get pretty intimidated when I'm painting, but I love how the painting classes on Craftsy are step-by-step. -step. And I watched this one landscape class where I felt like, okay, I could actually do this. They really did a great job of breaking the steps down. I really love that Craftsy is an online community as well. They do live streaming tutorials and you can do Q and A's with the instructors. You're not gonna believe the awesome deal that Craftsy put in place for my subscribers. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the video description will get a full year of premium membership to Craftsy for only $1.49. $1.49 for the entire year. But it's limited to the first 1,000 subscribers, so make sure you check it out below. Crystal vases at the thrift store can be really pricey. We saw some that were like $30, $40. Then we spotted this one and it had an as is sticker. It's so pretty down here. There's just one problem. It has like a little chip back here. But what if we put this to the back and this one's only $12? I just can see some beautiful spring florals in this. Now this clear vase is absolutely gorgeous. I love that I was able to get it as an as is discount because once I put the florals in here, you're not gonna be able to tell that it has a chip on it. Now I wanted some really pretty florals for spring. These I picked up in a pack off of Amazon. I'm gonna link them for you because I'm sure you're gonna wanna pick them up as well. Now I took all of the florals out and kind of fluffed them really well. I didn't cut the ends of the florals. I just bent them up. That way if I wanna use them in a large your vase, I have that option later. I put the florals in there and then just moved them around till I was happy with them. I think they look gorgeous sitting on this cabinet. 
My store has so many unique mirrors. I was loving these double mirrors. I think they're so pretty. Now these are $40 each. Then I spotted, this was over there. I pulled it up. I spotted this mirror. Actually, I'm not sure how much this is. Okay, there's no price on it. It's a fake wood, but I love the caning on it. So I'm thinking if I could remove the picture to make it be a mirror again, could I do some kind of faux wood stain on here to make it look like a cane mirror? Let's try it out. The first thing that drew me to this mirror was the caning around the edge. You see mirrors like this all the time that are pretty expensive. So I wanted to try to bring this mirror back to life. I did have to remove the painting that was on the mirror. I applied some goo gone and then using a scraping tool, I scraped off the paint. I took off the excess with a paper towel. I did a few coats of this, and then I came in with some Dawn dish soap. This did a great job to kind of finish up and remove any excess paint. I let this sit and dry. So I wanted to mimic the look of wood on this because it was a plastic. It looks like wood, but it's actually a plastic mirror. I taped around the mirror, and then I also covered the inside of the mirror so I didn't get any paint on the mirror while I was painting. I found this paint by Country Chic. It's the color Driftwood and it's a chalk paint. I did two coats of paint on the mirror, drying in between each coat. Now to give it more of a wood appearance, I'm gonna be using a dark brown color and I'm gonna be using a broom from Dollar Tree. I'll place the edge of my broom into the paint and wipe off any excess and then I'll just sweep it along the mirror. This is going to give me kind of a cool brush stroke look. You can do as little or as much as you like. Now, after you're done adding the brown, you're going to want to come back in with that driftwood because in some areas you'll probably add too much brown and that driftwood will just mute it down. Let it dry, remove your tape, and here's how the mirror turned out. Now there's actually another one that I wanna pick up. I feel like the shape on this mirror is so unique. I absolutely love it. I may do a little DIY on it, but it's really pretty much gonna look perfect in my house. This one is 39. One thing I noticed about this gold mirror was it actually had some green around the edging, and I wasn't sure if that's something that happened over time. I kind of liked the antique look that it gave to it. Now, it did have some chipping in some of the corners, so I wanted to add some gold rub and buff just to kind of smooth it out and bring it back to life. Now we're over here in the lamp section. My thrift store has a ton of lamps. I've been looking for a floor link the lamp. I found this one. It has a brass base. I'm gonna update that a little bit, but I love this lamp shade, but I'm not a fan of the color, so we're gonna have to change that as well. I was so excited to find this floor lamp for $19. I loved the marble table around the base. Now, the first thing I did was I removed the shade and then the gold brass, I felt like looked really great. I kind of like some of that antique look that it had, but it really kind of needed to be refreshed a little bit. So I put a couple of gold rub and buff colors onto a scrap piece of cardboard. I'll add the gold rub and buff to the stem of the base. Now, when you do two different colors, it's going to give you more of a contrast. So I definitely went in with two colors. I love the accordion style of this lampshade, but it was in rough shape. And if you weren't aware, you can paint your lampshades. I came in with kind of this ivory beige color, and this is just a sample paint that I picked up at Lowe's. You can get any sample paint made for around $5, and it's a great way to have a specific color to use. I use these in all of my projects. And I'm gonna be going in with a textured brush, and I'll add one coat around the entire lampshade. You can 
also paint on the interior of your lamp shade if it's looking a little bit rough. And I'll do this all the way around, making sure I have everything covered. Let your lampshade dry and this is how it turned out. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is thrifting. My store has this huge wall of chairs and I'm always on the lookout for vintage style chairs that'll fit in well with my decor. This cane one is awesome. It needs a little bit of updating, but it's only $24. I felt like this chair was amazing. I absolutely loved the color of it, but when I looked up close, I could see the wear and tear areas where it had been chipped. So a quick fix you can do for any chair like this is to use a gel stain. When you apply gel stain, you don't even have to sand it down first. I just found a gel stain that was a similar color to the stain that was on my chair, and I applied it to any worn down area. And I think it really brought this chair back to life. All right, so I've been on the hunt for blue and white items. This $5 dish I want to turn into a pedestal tray. At my thrift store, they group like items together. So there's all these blue and white items over here. So it makes it really easy to find kind of what you're looking for if you're going for a specific theme. My thrift store has a ton of kitchen items and these are the perfect containers to use to create trays. So I found this little dish here. It's $2, but I'm gonna use this as a supportive base for my tray. I really wanted to feature this blue plate in my kitchen. So I'm gonna take that clear base. I thought about painting it, but then I figured, you know what? I love the clear, it just looks so pretty. I added some E6000 to the top of the clear container, and then I placed the plate on top. This is great to set out with any of your scrub brushes or your soaps. All right, I just spotted this vase over here. It's only $3, but I'm gonna paint it and put it in a grouping. So I wanted to put two potted plants together. I found this one that was a little bit more expensive, but if I find something that I just really love at the thrift store, I think about, okay, if I bought that new, how much would that be? So I ended up getting it, even though it was a little bit more pricey. And then I also found this clear container. Now with the clear container, I did spray paint it with a color called sand dollar. If you guys don't have sand dollar, pick it up. It's one of my favorite spray paint colors and I use it in so many projects, but I'm going to spray the underside, let that dry and then flip it over and spray the top. I picked up some plants at Walmart for this project, but they were a little small, so I did add some rocks to the bottom before I put the plants in. Let's get this $2 candle holder and turn it into a mini lamp. Now I'm over here in the metal candle items and I found this guy and I was thinking maybe this would be better for my lampshade idea. I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna take both of these over to the mini lampshades and see which one's gonna work better. I think this beige colored lampshade is the winner for $2 and I like it on the $2 candle base. Now for this little lamp that I wanted to create, I did have to go online on Amazon and pick up some remote tea light candles. These were really cool. They come in a pack and then you just use a remote to turn them on and off. So I placed the tea light candle into this candle and then just placed the lampshade on top. I didn't have to DIY anything, but then if I want to turn it on, I can just use the remote. I never pass up the basket section because I feel like baskets just add so much warmth anywhere in your house. So I was looking through all of them. This was the one that I think I wanna pick up. It's very unique. They have it priced at $4, but I definitely think this is gonna look good in my home.
So I was actually shopping at the ReStore for another video that I'm working on and I came across this lamp. Now I know we already did a lamp in this video, but this lamp was so good. I absolutely loved the lamp shade. I've seen similar floor lamps on sale for over a hundred dollars. So when I saw this, I knew I had to pick it up. I removed the lamp shade. I taped off the cord at the base. And then I spray painted it a black matte color just to give it a really sleek look. Now with that lampshade that was so good, I did have to paint it. So using a brush, I came in with a beige color and painted the entire lampshade. If you need to paint inside of your lampshade, you can do that as well. Once everything's dry, I added it. This was only a $10 lamp from the ReStore, but it looks so much more expensive. I just spotted these cool scallop plates. They're only $2 each. I definitely need this in my life. With my scallop plate, I wanted to paint the underside of it. So I mixed a beige color sample paint with some baking soda. And I'll apply one coat to the base. I'll let that dry and then I did need to come back and add a second coat. Once that's completely dry, I wanted to add a little bit of detail around the edging. So I found this deep gray color that I had and I'll just apply that to the edge. Now you could use this as a plate to set items on. I actually used it in a grouping in my pantry. So one of my biggest tips is to go to the thrift store when you have a little bit of time to spend there. I've actually been at this thrift store for two hours now, but I find that like going around twice, I see things that I didn't even notice the first time. So really look, and especially I bring Delaney with me, it's great to have another set of eyes because you always miss stuff because there's just so much to look at. Let me know what your favorite item was that we found in today's video. And make sure you subscribe because I want to see you back here and I'll see you in our next one. Bye.